Now I'm going to show you how you can remove any video background. So I have this video, let's drop this in timeline. And now you can right click, go to the edit, go to the mask and you can click on this create. Or you can select your video and now in magic tools we have green screen. So click here and now it will take you to the masking window. And now we have to select the subject. So you can add multiple dots to your subject. So I'm just adding one. Let's see how it works. So I think it is fine. Now you can also done masking or you can feather out your mask. You can view the transparency to 100% or you can lower the transparency. So I think we are good. We can also change this later if we want to. So right now I'm going to just done masking. Sometimes it takes longer than the usual. So you have to be patient. So I'm going to just split my clip. So it will run faster. And now have a look. We are done. Now guys you can also invert this mask. So click here. And now as you can see now the subject is moved and now we have the background and if we click here invert you can see now we have the subject now you can edit this mask you can feather out this mask so as you can see we can feather out this mask and we can even delete this mask if you want to from this button now you can also edit this mask so it will again take you to the masking window and now we can edit this mask and now i can add more points so when we add more points, it will add a keyframe as well. So as you can see, we have this keyframe and if we delete this keyframe, as you can see, now we delete the mask. So now I'm going to again click here to add the mask. So this way you can add or delete your mask. So now let's click on then masking. Now let's add a background behind this person. So I'm going to click on the solid. Now we have this solid and I'm going to press control and using the scroll, you can zoom in and zoom out your timeline. Now I'm going to match the duration to the original clip. Let's play this right here and let's play the person on top of this solid. Now click on the solid, select the solid, click here and I'm going to change the color to green. And now we can export this video and we can remove its background using the chroma key of any software. So this is the best way to use the runway editor. So now we can export this to 720 and now it will add this right here.